is Vasily and I am a Greek uh, sculptor living this uh, last three years in Canada. Uh, I'm working as a sculptor for many years now. It's um, almost uh, 25 years as a professional uh, sculptor. And uh, the city of Nashua the, uh, invited us to participate in this symposium and it is a great honor for me to be part of this symposium. Meeting three, two other uh, colleagues, uh, Gopi from India and Asta from Lithuania. We are having a great time with them and I am enjoying uh, working with them. The theme that uh, the organizers had for this year was uh, the conversation. So I'm building something that is related or has uh, the elements of uh, this concept. This uh, piece you are seeing is the main element because the composition has three elements. Uh, it is uh, the between piece that connects two other uh, elements. They are two metal chairs and the middle part of this uh, block is the connection between the two other chairs. I'm John Weidman. I'm co-founder and director of the Andres Institute of Art in Brookline, New Hampshire. And I'm also the co-founder and, and uh, director of the uh, Nashua International Sculpture Symposium. And we invite artists from around the world to come and make a sculpture. It is for the artist's benefit that we do this. Uh, and the public subsequently, of course, benefits because they get artwork in the community. Um, the artist gets a chance to learn about new techniques, new, te um, new material, new ideas, meet other artists and enjoy life on their own terms in, that, in the process of making a sculpture. Um, we have a, a general theme each year. This year it was called Conversation. And the artists uh, choose a, a design based on that and um, they, they, of course, they develop it as they work on it. It's not just a one thing that, that you don't copy your own maquette or your own model. You, you develop it as it goes along and get creative with it. So okay. it's a okay. lot, lot of process. Now, is this the ninth year? This you is the ninth year here in uh, Nashua, yes. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Thank uh, you for sharing. I'm Lata Mangipudi, and I'm... Uh, elected to the state representative, state legislature in New Hampshire. This is my third year. And uh, Gopi has come from uh, Karnataka, Bangalore, and I would like to say Mysore. <laughs> and uh, what I'm trying to do is an initiative uh, of sister city initiative between Nashua and Mysore to start with, and to build a bridge that will many millions of people will cross uh, in terms of partnership. So uh, on June 4th, the Consul General from uh, Indian Consulate in New York will be here along with our Mayor Danches to inaugurate the Indian sculpture dedicated. And it's been a great opportunity for us as Indian Americans here in uh, New Hampshire and in Massachusetts to come together. I'm really thankful for New England Kannada Kuta for taking that initiative uh, and uh, you know, raising the funds and, uh, you know, we were, we've been able to sponsor the sculpture and your creative game, which will be placed in our community where, uh, in Maplewood area. And uh, so that is really wonderful. The way this all things have come together yeah. is just phenomenal. So the Nashua Chamber of Commerce, Mysore Chamber of Commerce, just signed a memorandum of understanding to have a partnership and collaboration. And Mayor of Nashua uh, and Mayor in Mysore are working on a memorandum of understanding. And uh, Zoo, Mysore Zoo, we are setting up an internship for people from Stoneham and Franklin Zoo. We have Jonathan Gilmore Memorial thing, which is and Jonathan, who, is, who was the son of former state, uh, state senator, had spent a few months in Mysore Zoo years ago. 
he's no longer with us, but his memorial fund is going to sponsor it. So all those connections. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent. Sure. That's a lot of good work. That's a lot of good work. To Nashua, this is my uh, first time. But uh, in 2010, I was in uh, Andes Institute of Art. Uh, I was uh, invited by John there to make a sculpture. So it was about three years program, uh, three weeks program. So I stayed there and uh, created a sculpture called Inherent Conversation. It was in granite stone. And again, this year, again, uh, John sent me an invitation again to visit this place. Uh, it's like same three weeks uh, uh, program it is. And I felt it's very interesting because uh, the whole uh, symposium is been organized by the community, like without much of uh, outside uh, support. So it, it, it's a very interesting because I've been to many symposium. Uh, those symposium are like uh, which, which, uh, which is very much of uh, kind of uh, supported by the government. And uh, my sculpture has been sponsored by Kanada Kuta. So I'm really thankful to them, uh, you know, and coming to my sculpture here, uh, uh, this year the theme is called uh, conversation. So, like I was wondering what to do. Then, since it's a public uh, uh, sculpture, like where it will be displayed in a public space, I thought the best thing to do is like uh, interactive sculpture. Uh, so I was wondering like uh, what kind of work I should do. So then my uh, my complete idea was to create something that was uh, played during my childhood times. And where the game has been now, it slowly it has been uh, disappeared. Uh, it's a kind of, uh, it, it, this is also uh, like a kind of uh, sculpture where you need to be physically very active. And uh, it is also like a kind of a interactive, this is where you will be playing with that. So you are part of that sculpture. So this uh, whole sculpture, actually the game is about uh, 10 to 12 inches uh, Length, the actual uh, the game board, but here I've uh, uh, elaborated that whole uh, sculpture into six feet. The whole uh, game board, so where we need two players, and uh, I'm I'm having four seats. Where it's for two players, two seats, and the two will be for the friends to accompany with them. So totally, four players can uh, four uh, people can be there in the sculpture. So the uh, the, the sculpture is in granite uh, stone carving, and uh, we'll have to use uh, marble for playing it so the, the, and also it's a kind of uh, bringing people closer to the work where you enjoy it as a sculpture and also like you are part of the work. This all happened through Lata Mangipudi. So Lata called me one day and she said you know such a symposium is happening in Nashua and uh, three artists are coming from three different countries and one among them is uh, Gopi from India, not only India from Mysore, Karnataka, and this I wanted to involve community, so it's a good opportunity to involve our Kannada Kota, she said. I immediately jumped on the uh, idea because our artist coming from India, doing something here in uh, US, on the US soil, uh, doing right away at the here and then presenting to our community here, I thought this is a fantastic opportunity for all of us to support this kind of activity. So I invited Lata and her uh, colleague Kathy to come to our uh, Kannada Kota function, Yugadi function, and gave a, uh, give, to give a uh, slide presentation. Uh, they gave a very good presentation and it was well appreciated by our Kannada Kota members. Lot of them were so encouraged and they said, yes, let's do it. So that's how it, it, uh, we got involved in that. Uh, I am very proud to say that a lot of uh, Kannada Kota members have come forward to support this and uh, we, uh, this is really uh, makes me, me very happy to get involved uh, in this activity. I also advertise this in my workplace. My, I work at Eagle Investment Systems. We have a lot of colleagues who appreciated the, uh, this idea and they came forward to help also and uh, Ramesh is my colleague and he is representing Eagle Investment Systems and uh, it's, it's, uh, it's really amazing. Let me give to Ramesh to say a few words. Hi, uh, I am uh, Ramesh Basi from uh, I work in Eagle Investment Systems. I am here because when uh, Sudhakar told about like uh, this, uh, this work is going on in Ashwa and uh, they are going to install the sculpture, I said, oh, why can't we support that? 
So I am here to support uh, Gopi, uh, Gopi here and I came all the way from Massachusetts and uh, so it looks like it's very wonderful work. We all support and uh, appreciate his work and I ask other people to come over here on uh, June 4th to appreciate him and uh, that's it. Thank you Gopi and thank you very much. Yeah. Hello, my name is Keshav Prasad, one of the uh, old committee members uh, before. And uh, so when, when we had the Karnakuta program, I heard about the, the sculpture symposium. And uh, when Lata mentioned about the Aluguli Mane, actually Mankala here, right? So, so I was so interested. And then I sent all the links to my sisters and other things. So, so I got today my uh, other two sisters from New Jersey and uh, New York. To, but it so happened, so the same, the, because we didn't know about the, this interview or anything, but uh, lucky to see all the people and uh, the sculptor, uh, the, the Gopinath uh, Subana and uh, Subhakar, uh, the, uh, the president, and uh, all the old president also here, Vani Lingdal. So it's good. <laughs> Hi, I'm Vani Lingdal. I'm one of the past NIKK president. Uh, when uh, Mr. Sudhakar informed about us about the uh, Nashua sculpture going to happen, since I do live in Nashua, it was a really a great opportunity for me to kind of introduce our culture and our olden games which we used to play when we were younger kids to our kids, who is my daughter, my daughter Neha. So it will be a really a good opportunity for us to take them to the near the sculpture and play Mankala and explain how we used to play and how our olden days was. So it is really a nice and good opportunity for us to encourage our own hometown sculpture, Mr. Gopinath. Thank you. Hello, my name is Uday. I'm here with my wife Lakshmi and Shilpa along with our family. My brother-in-law invited us. We are planning to come to uh, uh, Memorial Day weekend. As soon as we heard, we decided to stop here first and then continue, spend the rest of the time with our family. Uh, it's very happy and very nice to meet uh, the artist Gopi. And uh, uh, the theme and the idea uh, that he has come up with is very creative, very wonderful, and it brings our memory of the childhood. It's also useful for the current, uh, uh, cult current uh, age uh, uh, people to play, interact, and also connect to the uh, in the connect to the past. A great job. Karnakuta is doing a great job and the uh, whole association is also doing a great job. I really appreciate the idea and the effort that you have put in. Thank you. I want to say this is a real collective Yagna spirit, uh, you know, c community service and it's a distinct honor and pleasure to bring everybody together and celebrate the cultural diversity right here in Nashua and in New Hampshire. And I'm really proud to have everybody's support and it's wonderful.